I think a lot of people are predicting that uh, on the 17th, Little Nas X's album is going to disappoint. I don't. I, actually, I think it's going to be very popular. I think Little Nas X is the most influential rapper going right now. Mm. He, he's, he's figured out the art of trolling and keeping his name in the spotlight the way that Kanye West used to be able to do. I, 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 and, and again, I, I'm willing to be wrong on this. Disagree if you like, Jimmy or, or Delano, but I think Little Nas X right now is the most important artist in rap. Jason, if I could say something that you just said that I'm gonna agree with you on. Hey man, you'd be surprised at how many of these brothers out here really be feeling Drake. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You got a lot of brothers out there. Oh, yeah, I rocks with Drake. And they might as well be rocking with Lil Nas X, but you ain't you, you ain't man enough to come out like Nas X. Mm, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go, go ahead, Delano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tend to think um, th there was a time in my life where I, I, I would see incidents like this and I would just think that they were you know, disconnected, happenstance, coincidence. But now I'm starting to feel like most of this stuff is being coordinated. I don't know by whom, but it just, it, it all fits way too nicely. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and, and the, the backdrop, right? Think, think of culturally, this week, we had the state of Texas pass a law that says that will prohibit doctors from performing an abortion after a heartbeat is detected. And in the same week, we have our cultural overlords pushing Little Nas X as a pregnant man. Now, I guarantee you, they wouldn't want to hear anybody say that he should abort his baby. If you understand what I'm saying, right? <laughs> because when it comes yeah. to black men, they want to encourage us to get pregnant, get pregnant, and encourage black women to kill their offspring. So I'm starting to see this as, and, and, and to be quite clear, and, and Jason, you know, we've talked about this on the show. I'm equally disgusted with the type of culture that Lil Nas X is pushing and what commercial hip hop has been pushing for the better part of 30 years. Um, I think all of it should go in the trash can and we should start new. If, if, if we want to talk about def defunding, dismantling, tearing down something, I would much rather tear down that stuff than, you know, our current whatever system that people want to talk about, you know, capitalism or education, whatever it is. I, I'd much rather tear down the type of culture that we have let come into our house collectively as, as an American people and specifically in the black community. I'd much rather tear that down and start with something else because ultimately as a, as a Christian, I'm, I'm thinking how do the things that are being pushed in culture, whether by, again, the media or by the government, how are those things squaring with what I know to be true about human nature, about God as a creator, and about the nature of his created beings? And these things, this, this is a clash of worldviews. And it's, the question is, is, is Caesar God or is God God? And ultimately the American public is gonna have to, to, to answer that question because right now we're being pushed in a direction where the culture, right, people and CNN, and social media, and our institutions, and our professional leagues, right? The, 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 the NFL came out of the closet a couple weeks ago. All, all of the institutions of the culture are using their, their power, their might, to tenderize our children, right? To soak them in the marinade, to, to, to loosen those fibers, the things that parents try to put into them. They're trying to break all that down to get kids to accept things that they would have never accepted 50 years ago. And then on top of that, the institutions of government through our laws and our policies want to pulverize any, any parents that push back, call them bigots, dox them, try to you know get them called racist and lose their jobs. And it's up to us as, as parents, as other concerned allies to pressurize both parties, because if not, we're going to lose a generation of our kids.